everyone. If you are stuck at home and super bored and you don't have anything to do and you're really missing the ocean like I am and you want to keep learning, um, continue watching this video for a cool ocean density experiment. the water is the lightest blue, then we have the dish soap and the corn syrup as the darkest green blue color of our ocean. Then after everything's all mixed and you have the colors that you want, you're actually going to start pouring it into this mason jar. Really you can pour in any order you want because the densities of these three liquids are going to naturally separate, okay? But I'm going to start with the corn syrup here. So I'm going to start pouring this into the mason jar. This might take a little bit of time because of the thickness of this liquid. So this top layer up here, aka the water, is going to be our photic zone of the ocean. Okay, so that's about 0 to 200 meters down, which is about 650 feet. Remember at the beginning I told you that the cornstarch should be um, the liquid that you have in the greatest amount and then the dish soap second greatest amount and the least amount of water and that's because um, the photic zone that we just talked about is the smallest layer so you can kind of see there how this light light blue is the thinnest layer and then we have a little bit more of this second layer which is the dysphotic zone, okay, so that means that light is still reaching here, but it is rapidly fading as you get deeper and deeper into the ocean. This layer with the highest density down here is going to be our aphotic zone. Um, photic was meaning light and a means no. So no light down here, super cold, super dense. So here in this mason jar, remember we have our three layers, the photic zone, the dysphotic zone, and the aphotic zone. So no light down here. So this is representing our ocean as a whole. Hopefully you all learned something and are able to do this experiment at home. <laughs>